Hey guys, Nateness1234 here with a new tutorial on how to make a keypad lock system for lockers, doors, um, any personal stuff you want to keep locked away, maybe a piston door, maybe a chest, maybe a room, but whatever. And I had a couple requests to do this um, because of factions and how the lockers were set up. And I have a couple of different variations of what you can do with this and how you can make it more complicated for just a single door or for many doors. And uh, I'm going to start a new series where I do things like this. And whatever you guys comment below in the comment section, um, I will, the most complicated thing, I'm going to try and build it, whether it's something you need built, um, a new version of something, or maybe I invent something, I mean anything. I will put my time out to try and figure it out, whatever you guys tell me to build, I will see how much I can get, get to inventing and doing things with redstone. But I'm going to get into this because I had a lot of um, requests to do this. And this is, so if you have your chest, your lock behind here, you have a boom, boom type of a system where the locker will open and oh I get my chest and you can delay that so that there's more time on the door but basically this is how this one is set up it's just timed so basically when I push this button right here when I push this far button in the middle it accesses this and it powers this torch off so that it disables this slowly disables this piston which retracts the piston and allows this redstone flow coming from the button I push after to flow back and come around and power the door. And that's basically how that works. It's very simple, very easy way. Now obviously if I go like this and then this and then this, it's not going to work. Or it, I mean it's it's got to be like timed. You're not going to have enough time to push that button and if you don't push the two correct buttons correctly it won't work so even if you were to hit three buttons it's not going to work because the timing on it is not correct so like but if I hit this flicks back I hit this it's going to work so that's how that works so now for the second idea I've come up with um, what I do is this is if you guys wanted to make it a a lot more complicated, make it more um, sophisticated to make it easier for people to access it. If someone was in battle or something, or you're in a rush to do something, you don't have the time to like kind of time the button pressing, or maybe you have to leave mid mid like access. It's like in a battle where you have to figure out the code, and someone's trying to kill you while you're doing it. This is just another way for, to make it easier for you guys to access this. So now. If the, the the cool thing with this one is what I do is I hit the button and now I can wait as long as I want. First button. I can hit it and wait as long as I want. Walk around, look at the sun, um and then so then I hit the other button and it'll open. Now if I were to hit this button again, the same one that I just hit just now it ain't gonna open. Only if I hit this first button. So, this is how this works. When I hit that first button, basically what it does is it powers this, which powers this torch, which powers this, um, this, which powers this, and this right here. Sorry, I'm just saying this, 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 and this. Well, this right here is a like steady current so it's going to catch the current and it's going to make it flow so instead of just like going beep boop and just powering it once it's going to hold it so it's going to hold the redstone current so powering this actually disabling this torch and disabling this piston to retract and allow the button right here to come down and pass this because this will be disabled and come here power the door 
and at the same time power this piston which disables this steady current and I'll kind of show you guys how this works so when I hit this button as you guys can see it holds the current and I'll kind of show you guys how to build this you don't need this you can just chop off this this block right here this one and then you can chop off this that's not something you need all it is is let me uh, demonstrate out here all it is is a thing like this and it doesn't matter which angle very compact type of a way to do it it can go from any way you want to put that piston there make sure this blocks up so that when the redstone comes around it powers this this repeater piston what the hell this repeater and then you want a repeater here and you want redstone here and that's it same thing here redstone here so now if I have a button I'm gonna hold it even when the button retracts if I have a button here you're gonna hold it even until the button retracts and then if you put a block here it disables it so that's basically how that works so that's a good way to make it so that this will stay steady so now when I hit this obviously as I just showed you when you put that block above this part it will disable it so powering this as you open the door disables the whole thing and resets it basically so that's how that one works very simple type of a thing open close reset and now for this next one this is where it kind of gets um, a little excelled and complicated it's gonna make it a lot more complicated if you definitely don't want someone being able to get into your house into your chest into oh hi piggy you're not getting in you don't know the code um into anywhere really this is like definitely the one you would want to use this is definitely the technique you want to use if you even wanted to make it a lot even more complicated so this can excel and get even larger as it goes i just moved it up to three so now we have three buttons that are required to be hit before you can do the last one and now I recommend that you're going to do the uh, the same idea that we used here because the reason for that being because the timing can get a little bit screwed up. I mean, it's okay with just one button like this, but once it gets excelled and gets to this level, you need um, a power glitch because people aren't going to always hit it directly on time and they're going to have to be pretty precise in order to open that door so basically we can just hit the first one and then we can hit the second one and then we can hit the last one it's always going to open it's always going to be like it knows it's going to reset it and this can excel and get even bigger if you use the same concept that i'm going to show you you could make a huge keypad with 45 by 45 buttons on it and each button you had to press that would completely be possible it would just take a shitload of redstone and a shitload of time but you guys could do it <laughs> if you guys end up doing that i'd love to see it but um yeah you could even make a six digit one like a six digit code it's it wouldn't be complicated so let me show you how this works basically when i hit this first button which i decided to put at the bottom it powers this which powers this and this is basically just the same simple concept it just looks different so powers this redstone torch which to say which di which is disabled because of the power and then that powers this which activates that current I showed you guys which keeps it steady and then that powers the current powers this piston disabling the first track now another thing with this is you can do this 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 i'm sorry if you guys are mad about this but you will have to do the first one i showed you if you don't want this to be able to happen people can go like this and do it backwards i mean that's gonna be that's just something that's gonna happen 
Now you could do it like this and it would disable it because if you time this perfectively, like very precise, you're going to have to time it well enough so that when someone presses it randomly and someone walks up and tries to use it, they're going to, their, their pushing time is going to be similar to yours. You have to, you would have to literally measure it out, but I'm sure you could do it, like maybe have 10 repeaters versus 20 for the two different buttons, but, and that would work, I mean, that wouldn't, I just didn't feel like doing that because I would use up a lot of space, but that's how you would do that if you actually wanted it not to be able to do it. So that powers this piston, which then disables this, and then the next one powers this, which goes through, does the same thing, powers this, turns on this, and disables this piston. Then, once both uh, both pistons are disabled, the third button is pushed, and this powers this, which leads to this, which bypasses the two pistons because they are retracted, and powers this, which goes down with a couple ticks, powers the door, opens the door, and also comes around and pops up here. Comes up here, if you guys don't know what this is, this is a ladder torch kind of an idea, and it just, it basically just stacks redstone and powers it up. So then this comes down and powers this piston, and this disables this powered current, and this one comes down here and disables this powered current. And that is how that works. I hope this helped you guys. On, uh, I mean, I mean, this has so many uses. I use this for tons of different things. I use the whole concept for tons of different things. Concept uh, I came up with, it's pretty good, especially this one. This one's very, very, very efficient, especially if you have other people uh, not being able to hit him all at the same time and efficiently. Um, if you guys like this, and if you guys like learning new things with me on Redstone, if you guys want to see me do more types of tutorials and things and invent stuff, just leave a comment down below. Just leave a little comment saying what you guys think I should build next, what you guys think I should invent next, what you guys want to see next. Because I love just making your guys' day and making this stuff happen. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button. And to keep watching my videos, check out the new faction series if you already haven't done that. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.